In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PicScan to use all those offcuts that you would normally have to throw in a bin. So what we're going to do, we take our offcut and we put it on our mat, and then we need to scan it in the same way we would with a normal pick scan shown in the previous videos. So it goes in the scanner, and then we head into the software to do the first scan. So pretty standard affair. If you followed my previous videos, you'll be aware of what we're doing here. So we're just scanning the first half. Once the scan's finished, we'll then turn it round and we'll get the rest of the image. Right, now we've got our image fully scanned, we've got it on the page, we know what we've got to work with. First thing we want to do is define the area that we can cut in, and we're going to do this by doing a normal auto trace, as you would with a standard image. Pretty simple auto trace on something like this, so high pass filter off, increase the threshold until you get a nice solid colour, and then press trace. Once this is done, we're going to put an internal offset on, just to bring the line in a little bit so that we don't cut off. 2 mil offset will be enough. Once we've got that, we delete the original line. So there we've got a nice area to work with. And what we need now is a design to cut in that area. So here I've got some little decorative horseshoes, and I'm going to try and get as many as possible onto this little offcut that I've got. So copy back to my scanned page and paste it. Now this is where the trick comes in. What we're going to do now is use Silhouette Studio's new nesting feature. So you, to this you need to select the cut line that we've got and then choose the top option to use that cut line as a boundary. From there we want to add a little bit of padding so we've got space between our cut lines select our objects we're going to use and tell the, tell the software to work out a nest for it and it'll try and find the best way to put their medias into that little piece and there we go so as you can see we managed to get every one of the horseshoes there which you wouldn't really think you'd manage on such a small offcut but at least now we've got that in we can start to cut it What we're going to do is, it's a little bit thicker than normal vinyl this, so just need to tweak our settings. Once we've got the settings right, let's send it to the silhouette and cut it. Normal affair here, read the registration marks first on the sheet. Once it's found the, far, uh, the last marker, it'll then start to cut out.
Now that the cutting's complete, just need to weed off the excess vinyl. And there we have it, 10 nicely cut wedding horseshoes out of a piece of material that would normally go in the bin.